We're, we're taught that we should really get everything from food, but there's been a lot of problems with our food supply. That's um, true. You know, we, aside from us eating mountains of processed food, which has got no nutrients except things that yep. are fortified, right? Yes. Enriched. Why are they enrich it? Because it's impoverished to start with, <laughs> right? And on top of that, uh, the way we grow our food in soil that's depleted because of industrial farming techniques because of the fertilizers and chemicals that literally destroy the microbiome of the soil, yeah. which is needed to extract nutrients from the dirt, from the soil that the plants can use, which then we eat. We've seen 50% reduction in nutrient levels like magnesium and other minerals in our vegetables over the last 50 years. So if you're eating broccoli today and you ate it 50 years ago, it's a different food. It's a different broccoli. And then broccoli. you're shipping them over long distances. The average apple you eat has been in a storage house for a year, yep. <laughs> right? And yep. they're... They're refrigerated, kept in storage, they're transported, so they lose nutrition. And we're also living a lifestyle that depletes our nutrients. Yep. We're drinking too much alcohol, smoking, eating processed food, which, by the way, in order to, let's we'll talk about this, in order to actually metabolize your food, the way your food is metabolized is requiring vitamins and minerals to run that as cofactors for all yeah. those enzymes, right. right? To run the food through your metabolic factory, yeah. you can't, it's like the assembly line. If you don't have the nutrients, you can't run the food through. Right. And so you get more depleted. And then we have all these drugs we take that deplete our nutrients. Yes. Medications. Uh, and then, yes. so we have all these reasons why we're nutritionally deficient. So, I mean, if you just look at what people are eating, we're seeing that 68% of Americans are not getting enough magnesium. Mm. And so 68% are not meeting the RDI, the recommended dietary intake. And we have to remember that that RDI was set for just sufficiency. So, you know, not having a deficiency in magnesium. So which what that means is those recommendations are not set at what is optimal either for that individual person. So they're just the minimum requirement in, in a sense. Mm. So 68% of us are not getting mag enough magnesium, 40% are not getting enough zinc, 78% are not getting enough folate, wow. um, <clears throat> maybe even 90 plus percent are not getting enough of the omega-3s in their diet. So we're seeing su significant nutritional deficiencies and that's leading to so many issues in terms of chronic disease and also just feeling awful right yeah so what's fascinating Doing to me like is I, you know <laughs> when i started learning about all this you know i learned about nutrition in medical schools like okay vitamin c prevents scurvy and vitamin d right. prevents rickets and vitamin a prevents you know blindness and b vitamins prevent this and that and i never really understood why they were important other than preventing deficiency diseases which is sort of why we Mm -hmm. first learned about them was from these diseases <clears throat> and and then i began to understand this and began to think about you know what do vitamins and minerals actually do in the body right and there's there's 37 billion billion chemical reactions that happen in the body every second 37 yeah, billion billion crazy, right? i don't even know what that is it's like a gazillion i don't a know lot. What it is. It's, it's a, a lot, lot. <laughs> <clears throat> and every single one of those chemical reactions requires helpers and the mm -hmm. helpers are cofactors are vitamins, vitamins and minerals and minerals yeah right and and one of the other shocking things i learned was that our dna one third of our dna codes for enzymes mm -hmm. so enzymes are catalysts that convert one molecule to another so all these chemical reactions i talked about all need catalysts or enzymes yeah. one third of our entire genetic material is coding for these enzymes and there's variations in how they work that make one person require more or less of a different nutrient, right? So yes. some, for example, is you need more B vitamins if you have certain variation. You might need more yeah. folate or B12 or B6. Right. And if you take the normal amount, quote the RDI, which is not the optimal amount to create health, it's the minimum amount necessary to prevent a deficiency disease. Yes. So how much vitamin C do you need to not get scurvy? Probably 60 milligrams. Mm -hmm. How much vitamin C do you need to optimize your immune system to not get COVID? Probably 4,000 milligrams, right? Mm -hmm.